Hello, everyone. <laughs> Let me just share this to all the places so that everybody can be watching it who needs to watch it. I am super excited to be here with you on this beautiful morning. Well, it's still kind of morning here. Let's see, share. like a boss after like a boss after like a boss after like a boss okay recentering <sighs> hello everybody ella here and i am here to chat with you today about um how to grow your email list and get newsletter subscribers with giveaways. So I'm Ella Barnard, the co-founder of Author Like a Boss and the Author Boss Academy. Each week, my partner in creativity, Megan and I, bring you tips and tricks for how to turn your author dreams into reality. We show you how to write and market your books smarter, not harder, so you can be more successful. If you want to get in on the fun and ask us some questions while we're live, make sure that you are in the Author Like a Boss Facebook group. And I want you to remember today that no matter what genre you like, or write, sorry, no matter what genre, if you're going to Author Like a Boss, you need to have an email list and newsletter. Okay? Having an email list and sending newsletters is the best way to build relationships with your ideal readers. And that's why we are talking about all this month, how to build your email list and get newsletter subscribers. Hello, Diane. Hello, hello, hello. So who here has an email list somewhere on MailChimp or some other service and is stuck though about how to get more subscribers? Like you invited all of your friends and family and they're on there, but you're like, but how do I get more? <laughs> If it's, if this is you, don't worry. I have also been there because it's like, okay, everybody that I think I know that would be interested in this topic is on there. Hi, Cassandra. Yeah. But, but who else, how do I get people that I don't know to be on my email list? <laughs> Are they even going to like what I'm talking about? Are they even curious? I don't know. It. It's really this weird space. I have definitely, definitely been in there. I totally understand. But today, I'm going to give you one tip for how to get people who want to be on your email list. So today, we are talking about growing your list with giveaways. Now, what exactly does that mean, a giveaway? Okay, it's not what we talked about last week, which is opt-ins, which is also a great way. So if you didn't see that, pop on over to our YouTube channel because all of our videos are on the Author Like a Boss YouTube channel. But um, today we are talking about giveaways. So what a giveaway is, is you, you purchase some kind of a prize, <laughs> and then for a chance to, to win the prize, people will give you their email and agree to be on your newsletter and for a chance to win the prize. And if they win the prize, they get the prize. And if they don't, then you have to really, really take good care of them <laughs> so that they want to stay on your list. So what this looks like and what I recommend for most people is to choose a few eBooks in your genre. So, um, and by choosing eBooks in your genre as your prize, you are automatically filtering out everybody except your ideal readers. So the only people that will... <laughs> The only people that will sign up to your newsletter list are the people and who will sign up to win are people who want to read those books. And it's especially good if you do it digital books because then you know that they read digitally. And so you're not, yes, you're not going to get all the hundreds of thousands of people signing up as, as if it were like an iPad, you know, because lots of people use iPads even if they don't have an email list or I mean, even if they don't read. Oh my gosh. My husband is like walking around all over the place, <laughs> being like so distracting right now. <laughs> and he's doing it in a way like he's like, I'm in slow-mo. 
and is not distracting at all when he does it like that. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so choose, <laughs> choose eBooks in your genre. The closer they are to your book, the better, the most similar they are to your book, the better, because then you know that the people that enter the giveaway will want to read those kind of books and they'll want to read your book when it comes out. And you find, and I recommend two to three books, and find a service to host the giveaway. So um, it's not just you, you know, trying to collect emails somewhere. There's services that do it. You can use Rafflecopter, King Sumo. Some of them are free. Most of them are pay, ask you to pay a little bit. But I'll tell you what, it's worth it when you see, especially some of those ones. I think they're like $15 a month. But a lot of them have a free trial. So try it for free. See how many people you can get on there. If you if you have a two-week trial, you could, you could do your giveaway, have the giveaway be like a week. <laughs> do the, give the giveaway and you'll still have all the things all within the free trial. See what kind of um, response you get. Anyways, I don't want to go into too into the details. Make some art of your giveaway. So make some art uh, with the books that you're giving away. So, you know, like, and when I say make some art, I mean like make some graphic images for people so that you can post them on Facebook, post them on Twitter, post them in all your social media and people can share it and, um, okay, to do, share it. Uh, I see your question, Cassandra. I will get to that in a minute. And, uh, and they'll want to, they'll be like, Ooh, cause the images, the image is what grabs people's attention. So you want to have a good graphic so that people are like, Ooh, I want that book. I have a lot of other tips and tricks about doing giveaways, but um, we're just sticking to the basics here. So if you're curious about more tips and tricks about giveaways to grow your email list, um, you might want to come check out the Author Boss Academy. <laughs> Megan and I's Academy for Authors. Author Boss Academy. Um, once you have your art, once you have your giveaway set up, you're going to want to post your giveaway in all the pertinent Facebook groups that allow you to post about giveaways. So Cassandra, Cassandra asks, how do you advertise the giveaway to people to reach people she hasn't already begged to be on the list? And uh, that's how you do it. You, the key thing is to have it be something that people really want. <laughs> So, so make sure that your giveaway is not some unknown book, but a book that you know that people really want that's similar to your own and then post about it in Facebook groups, like join tons of Facebook groups and post about it in the ones that, um, that allow you to post them. The other thing that I really like to do is pick authors for your giveaway books that have a presence online tag them in your giveaway and they will usually retweet it or repost it to their fans because it's an opportunity for their fans to win one of their books. So um, that's a great way to access other people's audiences who are also your ideal audience. One thing I want to make sure of you guys may have heard of the GDPR rules. Europe is changing there are privacy rules, especially for stuff for you guys. It's going to come up for stuff around newsletter lists. So what you need to do, and I'm sure that in the next few weeks, um, the email or the giveaway people will accommodate this. But in the meantime, you need to make sure that you are following those rules. And what that means is when anybody enters the giveaway, they need to know it needs to be clearly stated that in exchange or they agree to be on your newsletter list as part of the so it's like hey we have a chance to win this and by by taking this chance to win this you were also agreeing to be on the newsletter list now they'll always still have the opportunity to unsubscribe so you're not like oh you can never leave but um you have to have it clearly stated so that way you're following those laws in europe and it's, and it's, and then you don't feel as sleazy. People are like, okay, yeah, yeah. For a chance to win this, I am down for it. And they know they can unsubscribe at any time if they want to. Um, once you've done the giveaway, 
once the giveaway is over, announce the winner to everybody. So that way, um, people don't think that you were doing a giveaway but not actually giving any prize. And then I always recommend to keep people on your list, even if they didn't win, give them something free, some kind of download or some kind of like the first few chapters of your book or something so that everybody feels like they win, even if they didn't win that particular prize. I have now a secret bonus tip. Secret bonus tip, okay? If you collaborate with other authors for your giveaway, so let's say you can get five, 10 authors and they each um, put in a little bit of money. They each put in $5 or they each buy a book. You can have 10 books in your giveaway. You don't have to spend as much, but you actually reach more people. And um, a, a person, an author who has really done this amazingly is Russell Nolte. And I actually interviewed him in the Author Like a Boss podcast, and it's episode five. And he goes into pretty significant detail about how he gets three to 5,000 people on his list with each giveaway that he does. <laughs> So he does a giveaway like every month and each time he gets between three and 5,000 people on the list and he does it using that collaboration with other authors. So he goes and tells you about that in the Author Like a Boss podcast episode five. So if you want to go listen to that, it's at authorlikeaboss.com slash podcast and that'll send you to iTunes where you can listen to episode five and uh, see, and he, he does that and so much more. Like it's a long episode, but it's all jam packed of really good juicy stuff for authors. So I definitely recommend checking that out if you wanna find out more details about how to build your list, like three to 5,000 people. What? <laughs> so, okay. So your take action step is go to authorlikeaboss.com slash podcast and uh, listen to the interview with Russell Nolte about giveaways. Another one to listen to, but I'm just going to give you one. But there's more. If you happen to like that one, go ahead and keep listening. There's a lot of good stuff on there. And um, if you enjoy it, please share it and leave a review. Um, the podcast is not that different than authors. I put a lot of energy into it. And obviously iTunes and iTunes likes it if there's reviews, just like Amazon likes it if there's reviews as well. So if you enjoy it, go ahead and leave a review. It doesn't have to be long. It can just be like, I loved it. I learned so much. <laughs> or I can't wait to go implement these strategies or anything. It just has to be short. But it makes a big difference, as you all know, as somebody on the other side. <laughs> so um, next week, uh, don't forget to tune in on Thursday or this so this coming Thursday Megan will be chatting about developing strong characters and next week I will um, I'm not going to be at the regular time because I have a really big meeting <laughs> on next Tuesday right in the middle of this um, so well well I might just do a really shortened one but I'll, I'll keep you posted on that but I'll be talking about another way to grow your email list next week Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead to like it, share it, um, and uh, and check out that podcast. I will put the I'll put the link in the comments. Thank you so much. Hugs and happy authoring.